Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be reviewing the Loran MP3 player and I'm going to share my thoughts about it and show you what comes in the box and show you all the features and apps that this thing has to show. So let's get into it. Alright, so first off, this is how the box looks and it looks pretty nice. I like this uh, like shape design, geometric design and then these are all the things that are in the box. So it comes with a charger which is type C which is nice to see it comes with some earbuds, earphones I guess um, and they also come with some like transferring files USB thing, I'm not really so sure what you call these um, uh, let me know in the comments below what you call these but that came in it, oh and then it also has a user manual this is a Loran MP3 player, Loran, I'm not sure how to say it so that's what's in the box, now let's look at the features so first off, let's look at the design. So it's like this uh, boxy shape. It kind of reminds me of like an iPhone 12 or 13. And it has Type-C right here. Then on the back, it kind of looks like the phone screen. It's like this complete glossy black finish with the little logo right here. It reminds me of the screen. But anyway, this is what... So I've been using this thing for maybe a few days. And I've already gotten all set up and booted up and stuff. And this is kind of what it looks like. This is the interface. So, you can put on music on here, which I've already done. I've added a ton of music on here. You also have videos, which I think you can transfer, like, photos, videos, and movies to this thing on an MP4 uh, format, and I'm assuming a lot of other ones, but I know MP4 is one of them. You have gallery, where you can put photos on here. You have an ebook reader, which I was testing out and just messing around with. It actually works. It looks really good. It's very sharp. The quality is pretty dang nice. Um, you also have a recorder, so you can record your voice, which I'm going to test out right now. This test should show the speaker quality and the microphone quality. So let's turn this up to the max. See how loud it gets. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three. So as you can tell, it's not the best. I wouldn't use this microphone unless there's maybe if you're trying to copy some notes from like class, if they allow this, you can use that. Um, they also have a calculator on here, which is actually pretty nice. It's snappy and fast. You can just do that. They also have all this stuff. And it works. There's a clear button. They also have a clock, which I've been actually using. It's very nice. So it shows your time. You could put on an alarm, which is really cool. I did not make these, by the way, these were preset. Um, a timer. And a stopwatch, which is pretty cool. And it shows you like the world time around here on the clock interface, which is really cool. Um, and over here we have file transfer, which is such a well-built app. It's from Minishare. So I've gotten all my songs from this app, and it's really nice. So on your phone, you can just download Minishare on the Play Store. I'm not sure if this is on Apple, but I know it's on the Play Store. You click join group as you make like a group on your phone and then it'll show up on here. You click on it if that's your phone that's showing up and you can transfer your files like that. Just It's super well made. Um, you have an FM radio which only works if you plug in the earphones which it came with. And I've also used these earphones before. They're not great at all. They're pretty bad to be honest. And the sound quality is awful. They fit in really not, not, they're not great. They don't feel good in the ear at all. So I wouldn't recommend that. I'll probably just buy my own earphones or use Bluetooth ones, which this has Bluetooth, and we'll get to that in a second. It says a browser, so you can browse the internet. So you can go on Amazon or something. It completely works. It's really cool. It's pretty amazing on how well built this thing is. You got settings. You can also disable apps on here. So if you don't like any of the apps, you can just delete these. Um. I have tried to sideload an app by downloading an APK, an APK file from APK Peer, and it does not work. You have to install it, and it does not allow you to. I mean, there's probably another way to um, bypass that and install an app on here, but I'm, I I don't know how to do that. But I'm sure there's a way to do that. Uh, you can change the display. I know you can change the brightness and stuff on here about device. This is using um, Android 3.4.67, so very old because we're on Android 12, I believe. We have a calendar which is so well built. I've added all this stuff on here, homework study and stuff. You can go to the month right here. And you can see all the events going on. You can click on one, say this one. 
or let me go to one that doesn't have stuff on it okay all of them do never mind um but you can add stuff on it it's very well built there's an agenda that shows you like what you're doing today and stuff which is super nice and then this is another music player i believe where you can like change like the bass and stuff there's like the treble thing um and then also if you hold down on the little home button there's a capacitive home button it's hard to see on camera it's like a little square and a triangle if you hold down on the square you can it pops up all the apps you've recently used and you can go straight back to it it's very snappy and nice uh and then you can remove that It's a very snappy device, I will say. Um, I like the build quality. I don't like the glossy back because it gets a lot of fingerprints on it. But this build quality is really nice and I really do like it. I think that this is a great buy for someone who wants to get away from their phone but can also still listen to all their music. Have an ebook reader. You can just listen to books on here. It does also have like an audiobook thing where you can make it uh, read to you, I will say. It sounds awful. It's really, really bad. But, I mean... You probably won't be using that. If you're re if you're using the ebook, you'd probably be reading it anyway. I mean, this thing just works really well. And for the price of $50 on Amazon, for me at least, I think that this is a great buy. And yeah, it really has like all the features you need. On the gallery, you can go to your photos. And they have like a ton of pre-photos on here. And you can change the background wallpaper. Um, so yeah, let's get into the features. This thing has Wi-Fi, which I've already connected to my Wi-Fi, so that's how I'm able to transfer files and use the internet and all this. It has a it has brightness where I can like use this little slider, change it. This is also where your notifications will pop up, which um yeah, that works. Um they have a Bluetooth thing and it also has 3D touch so you can hold down on it. I have my stuff my speaker and my earphones, which works amazingly. It's very seamless and it auto connects. Um you can hold down on the Wi-Fi. I'm not going to shove the Wi-Fi, of course, but it's 3D touch. It's really cool. It's uh, It works really well. So that's basically the features, but you can change the wallpaper if you don't like the one preset. You go to here, the settings, you go to display, wallpaper. You can. They even have some live wallpapers. I did not add any of these. They did. It came with it. So this one's pretty cool. You can see it like moves very slowly. Pretty awesome. Normal wallpapers, these are like photos that came with, I think that this is the default photo. Looks very nice, very high quality, nice photos. It looks good with the screen, with the black. Um, there's also many other settings, like I can change the font size, sleep. I can make it go to like turn off automatically after a minute of inactivity, as if like I'm not touching the screen for a minute, it would automatically just turn off. And you can change that if you want it more or less than a minute. Uh, factor reset data, date and time, which this did not automatically have the right time for me this did not work so I had to change it do not use automatic time zone that for some reason it just does not work for me even though it's connected to internet it still did not work I had to select the time zone and go to my correct time zone and then that's 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 what worked and it worked immediately after that so that's just something to know um if you don't like having Bluetooth off you can just tap it, it turns off tap the Wi-Fi it turns off it's very seamless very fast you can hold on the battery bring up the battery settings shows like what's using the battery and you can turn on the battery percentage so you can just have that up on the little screen up here which is pretty nice so yeah this is the this is the um Lauren mp3 player uh leave a like if you enjoy this video and subscribe that would be amazing anyway i'll see you guys in the next one peace